So guys, one of the really cool things about this spot is it, it's just, there's windows everywhere. There's windows everywhere, but right now the sun is setting and Billy Bravo's getting blinded by the sun. He's using me I'm gonna need somebody as a cover. Who, I'm gonna need somebody who works here to turn down the sun glare. It's Joe. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Great to see everybody. Guys, today we're on the southwest side of town because we're checking out a new spot called Taps and Barrels, guys. Let's go check it out. Basically, uh, one of Las Vegas's first pour your own brew house. So basically, guys, what happens here is uh, there's no bartenders to serve you or anything. They have 36 different taps on the wall with beer, uh, wine, sake, and meat. And basically, you pour your own beer into your own glass. You have to open up a tab first, and you need a credit card to open up a tab. Once you open up that tab, you're given a card to use, and this card is what your tab is put on. So you use this card at every tap when you pour your beer. All right, guys, we also have Steve-O here. Hello. Steve-O, thanks for coming along on our little oh, adventure, our little drinking adventure. Yeah, man. I see you got a beer already. What are you drinking today? Uh, we're drinking a, a light beer from Las Vegas Brew House. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually remember the name of it. Yeah, because there's so many, guys. There's so yeah. many to keep track of. Like, you we, know, every brewery has like 20, 15 beers, and they all have these funky names, and who can keep track? <laughs> but I do remember where it's from. I thought that was actually good enough. <laughs> and we also got Billy Bravo with us today. Billy's back, guys. I'm back when, there, when there's drinking, Billy shows up, I'll tell you that. Not as bad as last time, but I'm back. Well, not yet, right? We're just getting started. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Billy's got a beer. Billy, what are you drinking? Looks like a lava lamp, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Hefeweizen from Hop Valley. Okay. So, right. yes. <laughs> That's, that's pretty much it. So today, guys, I'm starting off with a porter, and this is uh, called Double Nut Brown. It's an American porter out of Mammoth Brewing Company. And uh, looks like it has a 5.5% uh, ABV, so it's not that strong of a beer, but uh, it's pretty easy going, pretty smooth. It's not a bad beer to drink. So, yeah. Getting started with my dark beers. So guys, not only do they have brews and wines here, but they also have food. Billy got the wings. Billy's tasting the wings. How is it? Six out of ten. <laughs> it's a six out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> Billy's rankings, always out of ten. Hey guys, we got Steve out here. They don't how to do it. Here, guys, you get all your glasses, and they have a lot of glasses to choose from. Yeah, big, small. But Steve has got small. his glass here. House Fest, right here. House Fest, that's right. Okay. And here we go. So as you can see, so you put, your, you put card, your card there. And uh, my name should show up right. Oh, it did. There's my name. Oh. <laughs> we'll block that out. <laughs> we'll block that okay. out, Steve-O. Uh, and I'm going for this. I think that's the one. All right, here we go. We're going to see if I can pour this. steve was pouring his own beer. Uh, Hopefully, not a lot ahead. Without it getting it too foamy. Oh, it's foamy. 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 Three beers now. Yeah, three beers, fifteen dollars. So if I take, and we take this card out, it'll show them the last pour was five dollars and eighty-one cents. 
So this, this beer full of head was $5.81. setting we moved to a high top table because uh, Billy was getting blinded by the light, <laughs> by, the light by the by the setting sun so all right guys I'm done with my porter and I moved on to uh, a beer called cryo crispies juicy lager out of Hop Valley Brewing and this one boasts a 5% ABV so so I don't know guys I don't cryo crispies juicy I don't know if it's fruity or not but uh, here goes the taste salute And it doesn't taste fruity at all. It's just the easy lager, smooth lager to drink. All right, guys, moving on to my third beer, and I'm trying a, a pumpkin beer. This one is called Post Road Pumpkin Ale, and it's 5% uh, ABV from Brooklyn Brewery. So, uh, it is the season, guys, for, for pumpkin things. So, let's try it and see how it is. If you like pumpkin stuff, this is definitely a pumpkin tasting beer. <laughs> How pumpkin is it? It's very pumpkin-y. Very. One to ten. Out of pumpkin-y? It's like a nine pumpkin-y. It's even a little, has that little spice, cinnamon spice at the end. Still got one there though. All right guys, next up we're trying their mead. They do have a mead here guys. And uh, mead basically is like one of the oldest uh, alcoholic beverages known to man. I guess it's made with honey and wheat. And this one is uh, called the Ratchet Kid. It's got 6.9% ABV, and it's from Deadwood Meadery. So uh, let's taste it, see how it is. Oh, okay. It's a little sweet tasting. It actually tastes like a sweet, a little sweet wine with some carbonation in it to it. So I drank four or five beers now. Getting kind of hungry. We ordered some food. I got the uh, the flatbread, and this is their uh, prosciutto pesto with figs flatbread. Looks like it has some onions, some uh, arugula on it. Billy keeps moving the table. Thanks, Billy. Pretty good, guys. All right, guys. Moving on to my fifth or I don't know, fifth or sixth beer. I don't know how many I drank so far, but. Uh, who knows what it is? Who knows what it is, okay? I'm trying something a little bit out of my comfort zone. This is a fruity beer. This one is called Fruity Strawberry Beer. It's only got 4.1% ABV, and it's out of Delirium Brewing. So you can see it's a little, it's a little red, like rosy red. So it's a strawberry beer, so let's try it and see how it is. Definitely a fruity beer. It, it, it tastes like it could be a sour beer, but it's not sour. It's a hair on the sweet side, so it's not bad. So guys, we've been here so long, it's already, it's like nighttime already. Nighttime. We uh, killed some food. Oh, a lot of food. Killed some brews. Pretzels, flatbreads, chicken wings, strawberry really? ales. Nick what? Chubb, everybody's dead. <laughs> Everything's dead right now. Sorry, but I was watching Monday Night Football, but uh, what'd you think of Taps and Barrels, Billy? I give yeah. it eight out of 10. <laughs> look, look, without ratings, we don't know what's what. So eight out of 10. Eight out of 10? Yeah. Uh -huh. Solid. It's 
Steve-O. Well, Steve-O had some brews and food. I did have some brews and food. What'd you think? Uh, eight out of ten. And eight, <laughs> you, got, you got the Billy Bravo ranking system too? Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in your lane, Steve-O. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to do it for Taps and Barrels today, guys. This spot I thought was pretty dope. Very open seating area. I mean, it's, it's, it's not, you don't feel cramped in here at all. The staff was super friendly. The variety of beers is pretty awesome. You got 36 different taps to choose from. Uh, the small bites, everything we had was great. The flatbread, the pretzel, the wings, everything was good, guys. No complaints here, guys. Check out Taps and Barrels, guys. Southwest side town of Las Vegas. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. My name is Joe, and you just watched Straight Out of Vegas. So if you're feeling that vibe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell if you want to be notified when I release future videos. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you.